I'm heading out to the Scottish countryside again today to show you one of my other schools and I wanted to make this video because this school is just completely different from the way that I grew up and um, my primary school and it just fascinates me I thought you might be interested in it. once once you hear about it it's gonna sound a bit like a fairy tale so um, I'm gonna cheat though and and drive up because it's really cold today so I'll see you when I get up there Well, here we are at the top of Creef. I could let you to believe that that was my house, but it's not. Uh, this is the view on the way up to Ardrex School. And it's a beautiful day here in Scotland. That's one of the sporting fields that the children use. And so we're just gonna head up to the school now. Well, I'm already wishing that I brought my gloves, <laughs> but I forgot them in the car. So um, it's, it's a nice brisk day, good day for a walk. And I, know, I used to walk this every single day before I had a car and um, then I got myself a nice little automatic and when you're trying to get yourself and a four-year-old out the door early in the morning you know sometimes it's just quicker to jump in the car but I'm going to promise to myself that I'm going to start walking up here again uh, once the weather gets a bit warmer and uh, the mornings get a bit brighter so here are the, the front gates of Ardfrex School and um, I call this my own little Hogwarts it's this mystical land it can be completely pouring down rain in the town of Creef and you walk up here uh, it's kind of at the, the top in the side of the hill of Creef and you, you come up and the sun is shining and the children are running around playing and and um, it's just this magical little world and um, I feel really fortunate to teach up here I uh, recently started a salsa band up here as well as the pipe band and um, also to have a few drum kit students as well but pipe and snare drumming is mostly what I teach here and I am fortunate enough to uh, teach alongside a very well-known piping instructor Anne Spaulding and our teaching styles really complement each other so I, I really enjoy uh, our partnership in running the pipe band so we're just gonna head up a little bit further to the main building and I'll see you when I get there so here we are at the main building and it's all very quiet here because the students are on half term for the week so this is the quietest that you'll ever see it <laughs> Well, I'm embarrassed to say that I've been teaching here for probably um, six years now and I've never noticed this beautiful babbling brook before. I guess I'm always in a hurry to uh, get into the music building and get drumming, but um, I thought this was just the perfect place to, um, to, to do a little bit more of the video and talk about the school. And uh, students come here as a day student, but most of them are boarders and it costs about 5,000 pounds per term to come here as a student and there are three terms in the school year but the activities that are on offer to the children as well as the top-notch ac academic program I mean they can take everything from shooting riding cricket golf you name it and then they can also take up to three musical instruments uh, at a time and so they have a scheduled practice timetable where each student has a very specific place and time for their to practice their instruments and um, there's something about the way that they schedule the students day here that no matter what time of day it is the children are just bursting with energy and I think that's fantastic I've never come across students that are just so happy to learn and um, that's something to be said about this school and I, I don't think I could ever send, actually I know I could never send my son away to boarding school, but if I had to it would definitely be something, some place like this. Well I couldn't leave without showing you the music building where I spend all of my time when I'm up here. And um, just up at the back of the hill there is where some teachers live on campus with their families too. So between all of the boarders that live here and the teachers that live on campus, it's, it has a really nice strong family feeling here. It's a nice safe haven for the for the students and so I just want to show you this beautiful teaching and learning environment and um, just wanted to uh, remind you to be grateful for what you have in your life and um, this is one of the things that I'm really grateful for and um, when you do that a lot of good things happen so I'm gonna go home and get warmed up before the camera starts really shaking get myself a nice hot mocha to remind me of Tim Hortons in Cape Breton and um, I'll see you again